Did I hear a musical motif lifted straight out of Mega Man 3? Yes, you did, actually. Are they having trouble? No, they're not. But yeah, this is this is not the in-game music, because I kind of detest the in-game music. It's very repetitive and not very good. I guess I'm just going to turn off auto cell for now. These guys don't actually make good weapons. And we it would be a good idea to actually get some more characters. Let's see. Because, yeah, these guys do boatloads of damage when I let them. Well, except for Dead Man over there. He doesn't do boatloads of damage. I guess I should probably get him some equipment. Hey. We get a Ming Sword. And a normal gem. I figured out how to use gems for anything yet. Let's produce a bunch of that. And we have the uh, blueprint for serrated swords, so we might as well make a handful of those. Okay, let's let's actually get folks new equipment for a moment. Okay, talent. It increases vitality. Just boosts his vitality for a bit. Okay, he gets the goodies. Any of these better? That's vaguely. Okay, so none of these serrated swords are actually any good. Room over. So sell all the same type. Sell. Sell more. What about equipment? Because we actually have some of this. Chuck that on him. Hurts the intelligence, but honestly, we might as well grab the vitality. At least until we can get some better caster gear. We'll send them back out. So that should put them a lot tougher. Oh, do we have more? Production rate, production rate, and production rate. Not great. And we also have... We do have a, another drunk reader. We might as well get rid of the old one. Take those off. And retire this guy. I think it can actually have multiple adventure groups. Eventually, but I'm just gonna focus on this one for now. Maybe? Because I can also have different teams. Auto tactics. Ah. Okay, well, good luck, group. They look a lot tougher than they did last time, so this should go faster. Let's see. We should probably rename our characters so we can have, uh... So we don't just have Street Man and Street Man. You're right. I should fix that. A what? I can't put a plus? Fine. This is Street Man Plus. There you go. Now you can tell them part. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, I'd like to save up for rings like this. 35 strength and 35... Well, okay, the 35 intelligence probably isn't that helpful. Targeting enemy units. Where is skill has one extra target? Ooh, that's kind of good, actually. Yeah, there's still this thing. Add one gem socket to an armor... Okay. Uh, auto adventure is on. Okay, cool. So they're just going to keep going out. So Bloodstone, got to go up to level 10 for that. Of these is worth the most. So it's 40... 30. Fifty. 
I mean, honestly, it really does seem like the, uh, the best thing for me to do is just make the most basic thing over and over and over again. Because it, it, they all use the same resources, just different quantities they're in. Let's see. So, we could probably do level 10 of the Wooden Forest and defeat the final boss. And then I'm thinking about it. What are we doing on this? Level him up. Get the effect mastery up. Ooh. We get an epic staff. We got some interesting bits from that, actually. Yeah, if we go back and take a look at that. Intelligence is gradually increased up to 36. Growth is triggered when deal more than 50 damage at a growth rate of 2. Increased 0 so far. Well, yeah, go figure. Okay, so we don't have anything useful there. Most of these red residents absolutely bite, but that's fine. The more of them I can grab, the more money I'm going to make anyway. And eventually we'll be able to cycle them out for substantially better ones. What, is, what are these? Gem set bonus. Uh, I'm assuming these are... Yeah, so these, these are just like lore log whatever things. We have another legendary missionary. I don't think we need two of those. Maybe we do. Probably not. I should probably actually focus in, in on and actually watch these guys and help them. Considering the rage moves seem to do, like, stupid amounts of damage. Alright. Street Man plus actually does way more damage, so I should probably use his rage moves instead of regular street man. Okay, let's turn off auto adventure. So we actually have at least a little bit of equipment I can chuck at these guys. So, let's see, equipment wise, you get the epic staff, and you get that epic sword. Oh, legendary sword is better than the epic sword. Oh, that makes it a bit easier. I guess let's level him up, because he's cheaper. Okay, so the Drunk Reader, it's fine. Uh, let's go up to level 9. We should be able to clear a group of 5 this time around. Legendary Missionary might be good for group 2. I, Yeah, but we're going to get plenty of Legendary Missionaries, and there's Ancient ones that we can get later, maybe? Wow, okay, that's a lot more than I had earlier. Also, we have a hell of a lot of robes. Uh, let's see, which of these is better? 10% int. Okay, the, the robe of demonic sorrow seems considerably better. Should probably pay attention to what's going on because this guy actually hurts. Oh, that music is part of it. Okay. Let's see. We might as well grab this. Get rid of some debuffs for a second. Focus fire him. Yeah, homeboy hits like a truck, unfortunately. Okay, so we probably want to just focus purely on the spell of holiness. Oh, but that doesn't actually heal. That's just resistances. Uh, 
Let's see. I might as well work on a spell of holiness. I was hoping spell of holiness would actually, like, heal everyone as well. But it doesn't actually work that way. Well, it's fine. We got him down. Tough sucker, though. We gotta get we gotta get some better gear. We gotta get this on farm. And we get the legendary uh bull edge guard and more gems, which still haven't uh actually found good spots for those. Okay, so let's go to you. Bull edge is kinda worse. Uh let's see, I guess I'll chuck it on this guy. Yeah, we've got a whole bunch of these, but you know what? Probably not actually that helpful. I swear I keep hearing, like, extra bonus music that I shouldn't be hearing, and I get very confused. Okay. So I'm gonna chuck the better robes on these two. We'll lose a little bit of... We'll lose a bit, bit of our other stats in favor of just getting slightly better. Okay, that should be fine. Uh, let's see. Do we think I can make a couple more of those? Did we get any, new of the, any more of these? Nothing amazing. I should probably send them out on just basic auto adventures. Uh, maybe? Did we get any else? Anybody else new? Nah. I guess let's grab that guy. We'll start booting them pretty soon, but still. Oh, hey, we've got a fair bit of money. Uh, let's see. Friendly units have a 23% chance of returning back to life when killed. Recovers 10% max life points. In fact, it's not restricted by other revive limitations and a lot of resistances. It's not amazing, though. So, just strength and intelligence. The warm jade seems interesting. But I think I just want flat stats. We'll go out on another adventure. Do we think... Do we believe in them? We could try. Okay, so let's go adventure. Let's add this. Now let's see if I can beat 10. Because yeah, these guys are... Eh, they're not actually that tough. Yeah, time doesn't seem to pause while you're managing your inventory. As far as I can tell, ta time does not actually seem to matter that much. Like, there's something about spring and, like, day number, but I don't think it changes at all. Like, this is not Stardew Valley or anything like that, where, like... It's, it's like Tuesday. Uh, or like the first Tuesday of spring. That means it's a fishing festival. No, it's just more of a like, how much time has passed in this game? Question mark. Well, we seem to do enough damage to these guys, so we should be able to clear this. I'd like to get it on farm so I can just let them go get a bunch of resources. Blood, fresh blood. Nice. What a pair of evil eyes. Blood full of greed and innocent deception is the most dis delicious. We drop knives. Probably well, we do some amount of damage to him. He's not dropping a whole lot of debuffs on me. Is, is this guy actually... Here, I'm gonna stop helping. If this guy is easier than the rest of my team... 
I might just put level 10 on farm. I mean, it looks like in general I should probably keep healing anyway. But yeah, we might be able to beat this guy without like direct interference on my health on my part. Oh, what are these boss effects? 10% chance, 100 chance of doing a fire seed. It revive once, goes back up to max health. Let's see, targets extra people. Reduces debuffs by 70%. Okay, so yeah, bit of a pain in the butt. We might actually want to pick up that second healer. I was figuring one healer might be enough, but I bet if I had two, I could go a lot further. I practice the purest and most divine method. Consume your opponent blood. I am humble and natural, fearless and formless. Wow. This guy's like... Oh, I don't even... What is the, uh, what? He's like turbo anti-GMO. He just eats people. I guess that's one way to do it. So this guy is a little tougher than I gave him credit for. We actually might die here. Nope, that was a good crit. But yeah, second healer might not be a bad idea. Nope. And we've unlocked a new adventurer, Paladin. We got a legendary sword, moon robe. Okay. My lord, we've received a letter of challenge for our adventurers. Would you like to correspond? Um, a pile of ashes. Not sure what it could be used for. What? Oh, hey, and that ancient staff has sockets in it. Cool. Bloodstone complete. My lord, bad news from the dragon court. Our crown prince was kidnapped by a bird monster. Rumor has it the monster was last spotted in the mist forest. All major lords around the emperor empire have dispatched their best adventure teams to investigate crown prince's case. We need to hurry. Well, so slay one dark knight, level three mist forest. Explore level two, or 12 of wooden forest. And level five of mist forest, cool. We kind of suck at this though, so let's see if I can hire anybody. I could get a paladin. Unfortunately, it's a crappy paladin. We can get a, uh, a higher tier assassin though. Okay, let's get get rid of you. And epic Ming sword or iron sword. Might as well get him the iron sword, make him do some damage. And we do have some gems. There we go. Because I, I might as well chuck him into this. Strength, agility, vitality, life on hit, mining mastery. Vitality, resilience, critical damage. What's his current crit rating? It's okay. Critical hit rate. Okay, so the crit rate's up to 12%. If I can boost that a little bit further. Doesn't look like it, but what I can do is normal gem. There, so his agility is much higher. What does agility do? Oh, battle turn progress speed. Hit rate adjustment, dodge rate adjustment. Uh, let's see, it doesn't look like it affects crit though. Crit is its own beast. Okay, and we'll give him the, uh, the better damage stick. Means back here. Any of these increase intelligence particularly. This one does. Anything else? Effect resistance rating, strength agility. 
chuck those in. That should be okay. Uh, let's see. No, we do have an epic staff. It's actually pretty... I mean, obviously, it's pretty good. I don't think the Ming Sword is amazing. It does give me some mining, mining bonus, but I don't know about the rest of this. Oh! Eventually, we'll be able to script rage effects to be auto-used in battle on conditions. That's incredibly helpful, actually. Okay, do we have anybody else? Yes, we have a businessman. So they're up to level two now. We'll want to start replacing some of our, our random grubbers. Okay, there we go. So that's going to start getting pricey, and I'd like to get some more of these rings at some point but later. How the Vash is completely burned. Da. Ah, okay, it's winter now. Hi. Let's see. Edit team. Add that killer. Confirm. And honestly... Do we try level 10 again? I mean, they can absolutely do level 10. Yeah, after level 5 town title has been acquired, we get the auto tactics. That'd be nice. I just have to go get some food. Wait, not food. I, I gotta go get some progress? Shit, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm hungry, so it's stuck in my brain now. Drop daggers. I think I was trying to talk about this earlier, but I'm kind of excited. Maybe? Because we're going to beer fest tomorrow. I've never really like tried a whole lot of variety of drinks. And so I'm kind of interested in seeing what kind of tasties await me. It's probably going to be bad. But you never know. We Oh, interesting. Uh, the boss has just been replaced by a purple orc. That's probably for the best. Well, we do enough damage to it. Yeah, we might actually be able to auto auto pass these. Ah, I can't stop thinking about food though. I am um... It's not good for me. I mean, obviously. Okay, we just got another legendary missionary. It might be worth having too. Two healers instead of one? Because we're taking a lot of damage and we don't have much for an AoE. Heal. If we had like a full party heal, I might be able to get away with one. Well, we got Bupkis. Bopples. Okay, so we gotta make some money. Oh, I can make level two moon robes. Uh, I can make seven of them. Do we... sure? Probably. Can't imagine why I wouldn't want to. Okay, next up, extra weapon profits, or a bit of both. I mean, the businessman just baseline is probably more useful. But yes, Wander is currently hungry, but yep, I will bellyache about it a lot. I'm sorry. I'll go get food shortly-ish. No. Oh. Legend legendary well shoot. Better than this one? It's probably better than the Ming Sword. Yeah, it's better than the Ming Sword. Yeah, the Ming Sword did have a slot in it, but I think this will be okay. Uh let's see. So can I get him up to level 10? Yeah. The critical damage, dodge rate adjustment, age efficiency. This will level up his crit damage a bit. What else do we have? Skill damage. I think some of these would actually be a little bit more interesting. Oh, these down here. Thousand Knives no longer dispels, increases base damage to 350%. Hell yeah. That's pretty good. 
Oh, extra targeting. Increases one skill target. Oh, maybe... When targeting friendly units, where a skill has one extra target. I didn't even think about that. But this, this, uh, Warm Jade Ring is actually probably pretty good. Uh... Okay, for starters, let's get that second, uh, let's... Do we get the second missionary? I'm just gonna get the second missionary. I might be able to use them. Um, I'm just gonna... Retire this guy. The shell made something tasty smelling. I'm jealous. Holy crap, that smells good. What did you make? Did you make me... Oh, can I try one? Hmm. It's a little burning, but it's so good. Nom nom nom. Sorry about that. Michelle gave me a meatball. It was a good meatball. Okay. So let's edit team. Let's add this missionary. So that's how we get the, the team heal, by the way. I have to I have to get them the rings that increase their uh their overall like uh team effects. Which makes perfect sense. Because this way, if I get, like, uh, if I increase, say, the healer's effect radius to two or three people, that'll massively increase my survivability. I wasn't even thinking about it, uh, that when I first saw that item. Now, I sh absolutely should have. Let's see. Just thought of something. Thanks to the pride emotes, I can guarantee there have been homophobes that have been gifted pride emotes. There's nothing they can do about it. Now their permanent unlocks will have to look at them whenever they scroll through their emotes. That is... <laughs> I'd say that's a little bitter and vindictive, but I think it's justified. I don't know. I've never... I, I've never really had to be around a whole lot of particularly homophobic people in my life, which is really nice. Because, like... I don't know. I've never understood that that perspective. I've had a number of people yell at me whenever I talk about this, but like, not just hating anybody else for like who they are or what they are or anything like that is a problem. I mean, I will judge people a little bit based on like what they do. So prisoner's blade and tough leather and apprentice wand, cool. Okay, so we have this guy, he's a good guy. Chuck everybody else out, and all these people are ravage. But no, that is actually really amusing that, yeah, it'll just be there forever, and they'd have to, like, make a new account. Most of them probably won't even, like, notice or look or even think about it, but some might. And that makes it kind of worth it. Okay, agility, rage, battle recovery. Okay, do we have a better jade ring? We have one, but I can't buy it. Prisoner's blade is... I mean, honestly, I'm not even sure if any of those are really worth it. it seems like my, my best money maker is really to just make the, the most basic armor. Or not basic armor, most basic weapons over and over forever. I have a family, family that doesn't agree with homosexuality, but they're vehemently anti-hate about the whole thing. At least I can kind of respect that. It's like, okay, sure. You have your belief. It's not a good one, but at least you're not like ruining somebody else's day for it. I don't know, I had a, had a friend who was trans in, in high school, and she was just, 
her parents were just awful to her. They would, uh... They would make her do all of the, like, heavy lifting chores and so on and so forth. Uh, and just, like, things that you don't generally do uh, to a person... I, I think they were specifically, like, trying to get her to work construction and whatnot. And it's just like, why are you... Are you just, like, evil people? Because, like... Yeah, the, it seemed like every every time they uh, wanted it, wanted like uh, wanted anything to do with her, it was mostly just to push her into doing. I'm not gonna say uncomfortable things, but like things that that very very much like weren't feminine and whatnot. And it's just like that's just that just sucks, and it like absolutely ruined her self esteem and like her self esteem. Any level of like trust she had for her parents, and they also made uh, made her do all like the babysitting for her younger parents. I remember, we went to the town fair once, and it was very much one of those where like we I, we were kind of low key in charge of of taking care of one of her younger brothers. I don't know what happened to the other one, and almost immediately he's just like, "Well, bye," and then sprints off into the crowd. And see, since he was a middle schooler and we were all high schoolers, there was no way we were going to follow this kid. And so, like, end of the night, uh, I go to drop her off. We can't find the little brother. He's turned his phone off. And he was already, he had already made it home because it was within walking distance. But I I just remember walking up to the door and the, the parents were already, like, livid there. Because how could they let the precious little brother out of, out of their sight? You know... How, how dare you be a, a terrible older older sibling to this this young boy or anything like that it was just like I sh probably should have spoken up but like yelling at an adult that was just like livid with rage and like very clearly just like hating on their own child for no other reason than because they could it was just like yeah. Unfortunately, she was also a bit of a flake, so I kind of eventually had to drop her as a friend. Because we'd get together for social events, and after, like, 45 minutes, she'd be like, I have to go home now, but I don't have a ride, and you, uh, you need to take me home. That got kind of frustrating. Yay, meatballs. Still having trouble with Heaven's Vault. But yeah, you do. It's not there anymore? Alright. Should have asked. Sorry if I'm a little informal right now. Considering, uh, nothing is going on, I figured I'd, uh... I, I figured I'd... Well, I can kind of just do whatever. Uh... Yeah, there's nothing in there. Just copy it out of it instead of cutting it like I did. Okay, there you go. Shell's recording stuff. Anyway, yes. I've got Swedish meatballs and they are tasty. What is where? Alright, beer fest. Yeah, beer fest. Are they just adventuring? Oh, they're adventuring. Perfect. Anyway, let's eat some meatballs for a little bit. There. Hey, we went to IKEA. And I've always been kind of vehemently against meatballs. Because my mother makes uh, meatballs. Like, she'd make homemade meatballs. But the thing is, my mother doesn't spice anything. So imagine just, like... Just ground beef. No spicing. In just, like, this kind of gross, wet ball. And that was my mother's meatballs. I think maybe there was onion in there or stuff like that. And it just was not... It wasn't good. It didn't taste good. She always made too many of them and they smelled kind of weird. And that was that was just my mother's meatballs. So like I've just never ever liked them until now. And recently we were at IKEA and we were starving. So it's just like, "All right, screw it. Well, let's buy meatballs today. Let's Let's see if they're any good." And the answer was they were they're pretty good. I still don't think I go out of my way for meatballs ever just because. But like Way better than I originally assumed, obviously. 
Did we get a paladin? It's okay. It's not terrible. I think I'll hold out for a legendary though. I'm sure one will show up. Like, more recently, my parents have been getting better about making food. My mother absolutely could make some really amazing food there, here and there. Her specialty was always more at, like, bread and baked things, though. The other unfortunate thing was, um... Uh, My parents recently, I guess recently, when we moved into our house in Massachusetts, they uh, they got a fire pit. And grilling can be really fun, but unfortunately it quickly became this thing where, oh hi, legendary axe? Uh, it very quickly became this thing where they'd only just grill things outside. They wouldn't spice them, they wouldn't marinate them, so they just chuck like red, red peppers on the grill until they got kind of charred. And then they'd eat them. Which more or less meant I couldn't eat at all, because anytime I eat, like, charred anything, I lose my sense of taste. Uh, it sucked a little bit, so eventually, yeah, it just fell to me to do most of the cooking. Which was kind of the deal for me living in their basement anyway. But, I don't know. I don't like char grilled stuff at all, but my parents swear by it for some reason. I got really good at making vegetarian chili. Speaking of, I could actually make vegetarian chili today. A little late. I'll probably just have a bowl of cereal before I go to bed. We'll see how it goes. Chef Wander. I mean, eh, kinda. Do we want to make a bunch of Swords of Courage? Nah. We just make a silly amount of wooden swords. Let's see. We should probably make a bunch of tough leathers, though. We don't have a whole lot of good equipment. Okay. So I picked up a weird-looking hammer. So extra strength, extra crit rate, reduced vitality. I'd say it's worth it. Let's see, we also got a weird apprentice wand looking thing. Oh, my other healer straight up just doesn't have... Well, that would do it. Okay, other thing is... We do have another one of these guys. So of this peasant. Yeah, before I sell anything. Now we sell everything. Bango. Because, yeah, those normal swords sell for almost as much as, like, half the other stuff I'm, I, I could make. So, yeah, just go bananas with them. Hello. That's some money. Uh, target and friendly unit has one extra target. Yes. What else do we have? Extra agility. Extra agility, strength, and intelligence. Okay, might as well toss some rings on characters. Let's see. Give him some strength. Give him the agility. Give 
that. I get that. No. So we've got to, we've got to, eh, we've probably got to be a much higher level before you can even think of putting points into that. Okay. And do we auto-adventure? Auto-advance? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> 